Wake up with Matt in the morning. Oh, hey there. My name is Matt. This is Matt in the morning. And today we're doing something a little bit different. So typically it's always been food related, but uh, I'm going to have a little DIY section now on the YouTubes uh, because why not? Um, you know, when I started this page, I wanted to just stick with one thing, but now I've decided let's do two things. So as I do stuff around the house, go over and give people a hand with stuff, um, you know, might as well do a video and highlight it. Um, you know, anywhere I can help out, might as well. So today what we're doing is we're taking this light fixture up here that just basic light fixture came with the house and we're going to put Adeline Bell's light fixture up. Boom. Uh, we brought this from Studio A, bringing it here to Studio B. Um, so with this, a couple safety things. I'm going to secure the power and I'm going to check it in two different ways. One is with my voltmeter. Uh, what I'm going to do first, you should always do this, is take your voltmeter, put into something you know is live, like a receptor, whatever, to make sure it works. Um, the other thing you can use is the little stick meter, a little, little stick tester thing. Um, I tend to not really trust my life with this. I like to go with a multimeter, but if all you have is this, use this. Uh, I took a 30 hour OSHA safety course about 10 plus years ago. And one of the fun facts, which was kind of like, whoa, was that most electrocutions, deaths by electric, happen in the home. It's not the electricians out there working on the job site. It's not the folks doing the high tension power lines, not the folks at the power plants. It's people doing the DIYs at the house. It's the people out shop back in their car out using an extension cord that's frayed, uh, not having something properly grounded. That's the majority of deaths from 120 volts from folks at home. So it's super important, you know, before you go to work on electrical, secure it and then make sure it's secured. And then the other thing with that is put a lockout tag out on it. You know, what if, what if you're working on this light fixture, somebody comes walking in that door, they're like, hey, what are you doing? They flip the light switch on, you're sitting there holding it, bzz, you're going to have a bad day. Um, super important. I say if you're going to work on electrical, get a voltmeter and get a good one. Get a good one. If all you got is this, use this, that's fine. And always test it on something you know is live. Anyways, I'm going to secure the power up here and we're going to just jump into this thing. So I have the power secured. These two screws here. We'll drop this light fixture out. Once you give it a little turn, your light fixture may be different. That's fine. Boom, just like that. Here's our power. In case you don't know, ground, neutral, hot. I have already confirmed no power. Always treat it like it's hot though. Listen, whether you're doing this stuff at work, at home, the goal of this is to not get hurt and make it home at the end of the day, right? So we'll take our little stick meter deal. Good to go. If this was hot, it'd be flashing red and beeping. We have, well, the ground goes around here too. For our fixture, the ground does go around there and poke down. Poke these wires through. Take these darn things out. This is why I brought my drill. So I'm not trying to not trying to get carpal tunnel. For our particular fixture, doesn't matter where I put these. Doesn't matter where the because these two are what's gonna hold the light fixture in place. Good enough for government work there. Okay, now now let's 
see, we're going to do this one of two ways. Okay, we're going to do it the hard way. Oops, I think I was blocking you there. So, this will be done the hard way. I've got to kind of hold it while connecting the wires. Like anything else, listen, it's every project's always good with a second hand, right? Or if you had a ladder that was a tad bit taller, where you could set this on top of your ladder, that would be ideal. There's just not enough room. I think I'm just blocking you guys there. What's happening? That's rude of me. So I'm just gonna get this darn thing wired in. Again, confirm your power is off. Because for me, there's no way I'm doing a project like this without touching the bare wires. Let's be honest. I'll let the wire hold it. Probably not a smart practice, but that's what we're doing. Da, da, da. Now, ultimately, it's probably best that you just call an electrician if you're not comfortable messing with power. Um, if you're not comfortable with it, even slightly, just call an electrician. Pay a couple bucks, have someone come out and do it. And some of you will be like, well, that's just crazy. You can do that yourself. Yeah, I know it. That's why I'm doing it myself. But I'm saying for those people who are uncomfortable with it, just pay the professional. Because it's not worth getting zapped. It's not worth wiring up something wrong. It's not worth... It's not worth getting electrocuted and dying. And just like that, boom, all done. Boom, got it. So how long did that take? Five minutes, something like that. Um, pretty simple. Light fixtures are, once you pull the base off, there's usually just two screws. Take those, turn it, twist it, whatever it needs to do, plop it down, undo the wires, take your other base, put it up, redo the wires, secure it, you're done. Thing, I'm just gonna say it again, I know I've said it few times already those that work with electrical are probably like this is ridiculous but super important make sure the power is don't have a multi don't have a way to test it go out and buy one don't even start on a project like this without it uh, super important super 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 anyways there we go video one of our new DIY section do it yourself uh, done and done hope you enjoyed this video hoped it helped a little bit maybe maybe not uh, anyways, if there's something else you want to see, something else you're interested in, a home project you're going to do, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe, hit the little bell so then you can get, boom, each week when I drop a video, you'll get reminded. Um, but if there's something you want to see specifically, drop a comment, let me know. Also, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Matt in the Morning, Matt with one T. Thank you, gotta go. Stay healthy. And stay safe.